people be thinking you mad, but the whole time you just lost respect for them. They don't respect if you're there, you don't respect yourself. I ain't gonna respect you. So. What's good, Trick Off Gang? It's your boy YTO Cam, and I'm back with another video. From the title of this video, y'all already know what I'm gonna get on here and talk about. So without further ado, I'm gonna need y'all to do a like, comment, subscribe, and show love for that giveaway. Trick Off! Loyalty, honesty, that's all I ask for. Is that too much to handle? You know, for some people, that's too much pressure. They can't give us that, light them up like a candle. Won't ever call the police on no nigga. No. First thing first, I ain't finna get on here bash nobody because I don't want nobody talking about I'm talking about them or talking down upon them or none of that. So I'm not bash nobody. But what I'm finna say in this video is some crazy psych. Y'all thought I'm finna get in this video and talk about that weird ass goofy. No, bro, I'm not finna talk about that shit. I'm not finna go in details about none of that. People choose to do what they want to do. People don't make mistakes, bro. People choose to do what the fuck they want to do. She chose to do what she wanted to do. That's what she did. If you regretting it, you regret it. You not, you not. I wish you the best, bro. I ain't, I don't, I don't hate you. It's one, there's two things that they say you never supposed to do. Hate somebody or regret. I don't hate you, but I live in regret every day on my dead granny. I will really, literally regret talking to that girl every fucking day. I regret that shit. Because at the end of the day, when you were doing whatever you was doing, you could have just been real with me and told me like, yeah, um, when you first started to feel that way. When you first started to feel like you didn't want to be with me, let me know. Don't sit around me on no fake shit. You said you felt like you was unhappy and unwanted since your birthday. Why you ain't say that? You said around me from April to October and didn't say not a thing, bro. That's that's not real. That's not no real shit. That's fucking... That's backdoor, basically. That's weird as hell. That's weird. I never sit around nobody and be like... And just sit and keep some shit in and not say nothing. Then go forward on them. You will never see it. I'm going to tell you how I feel. I don't care. What you got to say, how you feel about it, I'm going to tell you. I feel the type of way about anything you do, anything, I'm going to say something. I'm not going to sit there and be like, yeah, I'm going to get my get back. No, bro, that shit lame as hell. That's weird. You said I'm going to give you no attention. That was only four days. You bought me a lot. You got me a laptop. I told you I'm going to start a gaming channel, which is this channel I'm on now. I started the channel, learned how to edit better, learned how to do intros. Learn how to do YouTube banners, all of that. I'm trying to, for four days, I'm running my business, coming to crib, play the game. That's how my channel is based on gaming. It's a gaming channel. I'm playing a game, shower, eat, and sleep. You want somebody to be all up under you 24-7 and not get no money, not worry about they, not try to better themselves? If that's what you want, go on ahead, bro. And that's what you did. See, you want my to be around you 24-7 without no money. You would never see it. I ain't never had I ain't never fixed my mouth to ask you for nothing but one time. And you told me I need to go ahead and just go back to work, call them people this. And that was bogus as hell. You helped me, but at the same time, that shit was weird. Yeah, you gave me some bread for my truck, my Durango. Hell yeah, like 2000 2200 Yeah, you did. I appreciate that shit, but the amount of I was going stupid crazy for you, for that girl, bro. Built up a bed. Motherfucking ATM machine that shoot out money for a birthday. We went to Cali for a birthday. All different type of shit, bro. But live your life, bro. I ain't bashing you, bro. You, you got it. Shit, you won. You won. I don't, know, I don't want no apology. None of that shit. I don't want none of that. I'm sorry. You said sorry a million fucking times and continue to keep doing the same thing. I don't see how people can, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but still do the same shit over and over again. Ain't no fucking point of apologizing if you're doing the same shit. It don't make fucking, fuck you apologizing for you ain't sorry. You're doing what you want to do, not what. That's not a mistake. You did what you want to do. You did it. Shit. I just regret, regret even talking to you. I regret even talking to that girl every fucking day. It wasn't beneficial. Some shit was beneficial. Some wasn't. Because I started the TD Mount shit on my own. You supported it. Yeah, you was helping me out here and uh, Supporting me buying little buy mounts and shit. Yeah, that's supportive, but shit. I want to feel like I'm special. You can't make me feel like I'm special. Like I'm a, like I'm a different type of nigga. I stand out. I'm not like these other weird ass niggas. I'm fucking go outside. I go my ass to work. 
get off work, go do my TVs, go my ass home. That's it. I don't go nowhere else. Then blame and say I'm the reason. I'm I'm the reason why I don't want to go outside. I could have went outside, bro. I just didn't want to go outside because before all of that shit, I got accused so fucking much. I got accused them now every day of talking to a motherfucker or something. How I'm getting accused of shit if I'm with you every day? Come on, man. With you every day at your OG crib. As soon as I get off work, I'm at your mama house all day helping your mama with something. Come on, now. I didn't even have a car with you in your car. Why would I do, man? You crazy. Drove right to your OG house. I even cleaned your car out. Or fucking went to your mama house. Went to your mama house or cleaned the car out. Came and got you. Went back with you every day. How could I cheat on you with you every day? You in my phone 24-7. I don't even own my own damn phone. My money in your bank account. You could have ran off from me. You got my location 24-7. But when the table was turned and you got to doing sneaky weird shit, bro, your location was turned off. You finessing your shit, change your password to your phone or some sneaky weird shit. You apologizing and shit, but still doing the same shit. Merching on your people, talking about you ain't doing nothing, but you is, bro. That was foul. That's some foul shit to put something on your people and then sit there and be like, no, I'm not. And then knowing in my head, I already know and went through your phone and seen the shit and you lying in my face. That's foul as hell. That's foul. But it ain't really nothing to talk about, bro. That's shit, basically what it was, bro. I even went out of town for a week. I went to Indiana. Bro, that's what I, man, I ain't saying about none of that shit. I ain't saying what was said about them, but that shit was crazy. When I was in Indiana getting a phone call, that shit was crazy, wasn't it? That girl was telling me, bro, I ain't even fun to sit and talk about that shit. That shit was, man, weird. I'm straight though. I'm good. Now what I've been doing now? Crazy, bro. I blocked, I blocked a lot of people. I blocked like her mama, her, a lot of her family members, a lot of her, all her friends, so they won't be on my page lurking my stuff, worry about what I'm doing, because I don't want people. I don't want people not I ain't gonna say people like that, but I don't want people in my business who even wrong me. I don't care if they wrong me or not, bro. I just don't want people in my business. Doing that shit was going on on our, our truck. Some dude hit my truck by my OG crib. That got settled decent. So yeah, sure it's gonna pay for it. Went to physical therapy for that shit. So that's worked out in my favor. Then May 6th, May 7th, I was driving my truck. So you know, Lakeshore, it was raining. Some car had came and tapped the front of my truck and I spent out, hit the wall, they kept going. I had to call my insurance. Now my truck is fucking at an auto body shop when they get fixed or totaled out. I don't know. But before that shit, like January, around my B-Day, it was like shit. I was just doing TVs. I ain't had no job. So I was doing TVs. Bam, she had to go to um, work. No, she was at work. So after that, I had um, went to go pick her up in my truck. I had a donut on my shit. I went to go pick it up in my truck. And then I was like, could you go with me to this customer so I can go, um, I'm already late. I'm like an uh, hour late to my customer picking her up. And she had a car. But her car, I was driving her car. Somebody had her car, messed her car, and she didn't want to drive it. So that was that. Then after that, with my truck, she was like, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm like, could you just go with me? Shit, I can go. We can split the money. Like, it ain't, it ain't no problem. We can split the money. Like, if you go with me, you ain't got to do nothing. You can just sit there with me. Like, what's wrong with that? You're, you're about to sit around me and sit around me and split some money or go chill with another nigga and not make no money. You crazy. So, okay, go on here. I dropped off. I was mad as hell. Hell yeah, because now I'm late. I hit my customer. up like, yeah, you still want me to come? Yeah, I want you to come. So, I came. I went all the way to fucking Portage, Indiana. That shit was like an hour away. I drove, got there. Put up his TV. He had an 85 inch and a 65. I put both of them up quick in like 30 minutes. Uh, he gave me a business car. He was like, I need me a carpenter. So I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, I'm a carpenter. I built a back porch before. I built a fireplace build out. I know how to, I built a bed out of wood. I know how to work with wood. So he gave me the card. I left. Called the next morning. He ain't pick up, bam. He called me three days later, offered me the job to be a carpenter. So I got the job, bam. Once I got the job, I did everything. Drug tests. Uh, I had to do 10 hours of OSHA 10, a class, 10 hours of OSHA 10. I did that. 
physical, all that checkups. I had to do all that just to get in a job. That's the crazy part. I got the job, and it's crazy if I didn't if I didn't go and just said skip it. If I said skip it and just went to the house and not even went to the thing, I would not even have the job. Promise to God, I'm glad I went. I'm glad I went and to go go on ahead and go do that man TV. Because if I didn't go do his TVs, I would have lost out on like two hundred and like two fifty, two hundred and fifty dollars, and I would have lost out on my dream job. Just because somebody was like, yeah, um, and I didn't even feel like going after that. That blew me. But the one thing you don't never do is let people make decisions for you. You don't let nobody throw you off your square. And that day, I almost got through all my square. So I just go ahead and went to go take care of business. I got the job. I still work there. Yes, I do. I'm a carpenter and I'm a forklift driver. So the crazy part is I got a contractor badge to work there or I can work anywhere else as a, as a carpenter. I got a forklift license so I can drive a forklift for them or any other else company. I can't disclose where I, where I work at, but I, where I work at the location, but I work for BP Gas. I work in for Brock Construction and we do construction work and scaffold building for BP Gas. I'm not telling y'all how much I make an hour. Just know it's, um, just know if you Google carpenter and forklift driver and combine them together, then do the math. So. Yeah, my truck, my truck gone. Well, it ain't gone, it's just, yeah, I don't know what they gonna do with it. See, I've been putting up money, so when they do, if they do tow out my truck, I'ma just, they gonna, uh, I, I owe money on the truck still though. It ain't, it ain't much, but I still owe money on it. So they gonna total it out. Once they total the truck out, they are going to, once they total it out, they are going to send, a, send money over to my insurance, no. Yeah, my insurance is going to send money over to the finance company, pay the remaining balance on the vehicle, and then send me what seven's left. I got a like, substantial amount of money put up. So, in the pile, I got a substantial amount of money put up. But how I've been getting to work, I'm not taking no Ubers and I'm not taking no Lyft. I fuck with stuff. Ooh, I ain't mean to curse. I talk to a girl. That's my little baby. My little yeah, yeah. My little yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my shorty. Just let me use her car to get back and forth to work, do my TVs, all that. I got it right now. I'm at the crib. She at the house, my the car in the front. I got her car. That's why I fuck with her. As soon as I crashed my car, I hit her up and she looked out for me. And I honored that shit. So I honored it. So whatever she need, whatever she want, I got her. Simple. Just gave her 200. Finna get her a telephone purse. See if she need help with her bills, just let me know. I got you. You looking out for me, I'm going to look out for you. I only go to work four days a week, Monday through Thursday. She makes sure I'm there on time. When I don't feel like going, get up, go ahead, you got to go. Make sure I'm there on time. And she pick me up on time. Bring me lunch, all every time you see, bro. I honor that shit. And my, I told my OG, she, yeah, you ain't wrong for doing that. Woo -woo. I ain't raised no, I ain't raised, oh, I forgot what she said, but shit, my OG raised a good young man, bro. I'm an honorable person. If you look out for me, I'm going to look out for you at the end of the day. But once you do some foul shit, bro, I'm, I got to go. I don't get no fuck. If I really need you or any of that, I'm not going to sit around you, let you do no foul shit and I need you. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to get up out of my way. I'm going to get out your hell. Yeah, it took me some time to give her the money for her car. Cause I had to pay off. I've had to pay twenty seven hundred off on my license. Yes, I did. I had to pay that shit. That shit was twenty seven hundred. I had to pay that shit off on my license. Get my license clear to try to get a rental car. Couldn't get it. So my license is clear right now. To this day, my license is clear. But I'm not gonna go get no rental car. That's too much. I'm gonna waste too much money. Why would I waste money and she looking out for me and I can look out for her? That's real shit. Most females ain't even like that. Yeah, they'll look out for you, but at the same time, they gonna lie to you. Conniving, controlling, they gonna connive situations to make, make it look like you was the one that wrong for doing, man, it's weird, bro. People can't admit they wrongs until when they regret, when they regret and shit. Yeah, how people just like, yeah, Will was the, he was the best thing that ever happened to you. I probably was, I probably wasn't. I might not be missed. I might do be missed, but I'm not bashing nobody. You just see it. I'm not telling the details exactly what happened. I'm just summing it up and saying what I gotta say. See, that's it. That's all. Ain't nothing major.
Just leave me alone, bro. I'm straight. I'm good. I ain't fucked up. So now I'm gonna put my money up. Um, June, first month of June, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go cash out on the Jeep or cash out on another Durango. Once I find out what my insurance is going on, once they, I'm going to go cash out on another Jeep, on, on the Jeep or cash out on a Durango. Popping out, I'm not popping out. Because after that, I'm, after I get my new car, my new truck, my Jeep or my Durango, I'm going to go get me a house. And when I get my house, y'all gonna see all that content on him. I'm show y'all how to fix a crib. I'm gonna show y'all the Chicago lifestyle, what we do in Chicago, parties, hooping, everything. I'm still gonna play the game, all that. I'm gonna show y'all the my life, how I live my life in Chicago now, with just me. It's gonna be fun, bro. I'm a fun person, bro. So y'all just stick around, see this. Shit gonna be lit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm doing crazy giveaways. Y'all get my channel to a thousand. Get me up there, monetized, all that, bro. I'm showing love. Promise to God. I'm showing love to everybody who show love to me. Simple. That's it. That's all. That's all I want to do. With that channel, that channel, I want to get that channel up there, all that, and show love to people. Doing crazy giveaways, bro. Y'all gonna see. This channel gonna be different. I'm still gonna do gaming. Like I said, I'm still gonna do gaming. I'm gonna show y'all when I'm doing modifications on my cars, pranks, all of that. I'm gonna show y'all everything. I might show y'all a little something, something about my job, but ah, that's like private. I can't really show too much about my job. I can record little funny videos, but I can't shoot a whole video at my. I can't. I can't do that. I can't shoot a whole video at my job showing y'all what I do. Cause that's it's dangerous. I work around fire, so I gotta wear FR clothing. Gotta keep a clean shave. That's why I look like my hair cut. I gotta keep a clean shave. I look like a kid. I look like I'm 15. I'm 23. <laughs> Trick off. Now let me stop. But yeah, for real, bro. This shit was crazy. I'm gonna deal what they wanted to do. You didn't do what... You didn't make a mistake. You did what you wanted to do. Because if it was a mistake, it would have happened. You would have... It would have happened one time. If it was a mistake, you would have slipped up one time and... It would have been you you said you told me you started to like him but you told me a month after you started you told me a month later so while you were sneaking around financing your location doing what you was doing bro you told me a month later you apologized and saying you sorry let's work on shit i don't even talk of stuff but you kept doing the shit so man man fuck that shit leave it alone but yeah but for this channel this channel gonna be crazy y'all gonna see i just had to put this video out and I know this video go up, but I'm telling you this now. If y'all show this video love, the next video I drop or another video, I'm going to tell that story, what happened with that situation, detail by detail. I'm not leaving nothing out. I promise you, I'm not leaving nothing out. So if y'all show love to this video, the next video that I drop or the other one, bro, I'm going to tell y'all every detail, word from word. And I'm not leaving nothing out. This not me bashing. This not me trying to make somebody look like a bad person. None of that, bro. But if it was if the tables was turned and I did that to them, that they would have been all over social media. Niggas ain't this, niggas ain't that. Ooh, ooh this, that, and the third. Talking all about how niggas, yeah, will this, will that. I ain't trying to hear none of that. This not me trying to return the favor. No, this ain't me telling people how. No, it's just shit. Females do the shit too. And it, it, they, it go unnoticed. It get pushed under the rug. That shit go unnoticed. It shouldn't get a go. It shouldn't go unnoticed. It should not. Just have when niggas cheat on a girl. It don't go unnoticed. How all them celebrities, YouTubers be getting cheated on by that they dudes, they dudes be cheating on them and that shit don't go on. That shit be viral. But when a girl cheat on the dude, all the females be period. Woo, woo. Yeah, that shit. Bop shit, ho shit. That's weird, bro. But they ain't, man, leave us. I'm finna leave that shit alone. I've been left for long. Me and my shorty locked in. We straight. Forever good. I owe her most. And I don't care what nobody see. But yeah, that's it. That's the end of this little story. But for real though, if y'all want to know detail by detail about what happened with that situation and how it went, I'm going to tell you. Just show this video some love. Comment down below and say, I want to know. Like the video. Or subscribe. And I'm going to tell you. If, if I see y'all showing love and I get them views, them views coming in, y'all comment and I want to see it. And most definitely, if I hit 100 subscribers, I'm doing, I'm doing a giveaway. A crazy giveaway, bro. For real. Every 100 subscribers, I'm doing a crazy giveaway. It might be $100. Might be every uh, first 100 subscribers, $100 giveaway. 
200, 200, 300, so full, all the way to a band. Once I get to a band, it's a wrap. Once I get to a thousand subscribers, I'm going crazy. Gas price is high right now, so pull up at the gas station. I got 50 in your tank. Giveaway, just like that. I'm showing love to the people, as long as y'all show me love, bro. Simple. Without further ado, it's the end of this video. Trick off! Only thing gonna take that pain away is if you get racks forever, get my lick back.